All right, we're going to talk about simultaneously one of my favorite and least favorite um, subjects, which is uh, key management. Uh, I hate it, and uh, it's a never-ending struggle. My first attempts were to go like the janitor route and use one of these. So these are brass. They've got a spring-loaded clippy clip on one end and an open hook on the other. So the idea is you spring-load. Uh, your keychain into this and then this part clips onto like a belt buckle loop and the whole thing like sort of like hangs into your pocket um, I found it heavy and intrusive and not um, and too likely to fall off so that got retired relatively quickly um, and then you want to you see people using like these like these mini carabiners uh, like these like these little like lock gate jams I've never liked them I find them uh, to the edges are not refined enough and they're too sharp um, and the length is wrong so if I actually clip it to like a belt buckle and have the keys dangle into my pocket it doesn't actually have like enough length to sort of make that reach and things are awkward and flop around and they're also prone to snagging because of this this is very sharp inside here this hook uh, so they're prone to snagging on stuff when you try to take them off so that got retired and then uh, I saw for actually keeping the keys themselves I saw these go by years ago and so this one uh, is from um, County Com, I guess uh, and basically it's a piece of aircraft cable also known as wire rope um, and it's got uh, swaged ends on it one's a stopper and one is threaded and this little guy threads and so you drop your keys under here and then you screw this uh, on and it's reasonably secure and it's flexible so if you jam it into your pocket it can move around on you and all that these are okay, but the diameter is a bit large and they're a bit clunky. And I was always worried about this part loosening up and I don't know. Uh, so I don't use those anymore. Um, you get a lot of people that are using uh, split rings. These are like a, it's like a regular big like car key split ring. But, and some people don't know this, they come in smaller sizes and smaller sizes still. If you buy them in packs, you can get these sort of like three standardized. I think that's inch and a half, inch and a quarter inch, I think. Um, and then you can also sometimes, if you look really hard, find them even smaller than that. It's like a three quarter, I think. Um, uh, so you can sort of organize stuff, which is kind of nice. And then I started using, I started using shackles, like little one eighth inch shackles. Um, and so there are a couple ways you can do this. Um, the easiest way is uh, if you get your keys on little split rings, they will fit over these ends. So you can put a little split ring on each key, drop it over here, your keys are hangling, hanging on this, and then you've got the shackle bar that could thread through. And it, I like to have a pocket leash if I can. So this is a piece of um, a paracord, and it's just looped at one end, and at the other end, um, it's, it's a whipped loop, right? Uh, and so if you don't know how to do that, you can look it up. It's not very hard. Um, I learned it from fly fishing. <laughs> And uh, this guy screws on, and then you've got all of your keys handy dandy on this guy with a nice leash to have it make it easy to grab out of your pocket or anchor in a bag or whatever it is that you're going to do. And so that was pretty nice. Um, but then, uh, and 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 to that end, I uh, I made myself a little pocket clip. So this is the same idea. It's got you know a shackle, same exact shackle, and then this is a piece of steel that's been formed. Um, by me uh, and this is just the right width to hang off uh, the fold of pocket fabric on your pair of pants and you get your keys and this guy will clip right on it's pretty snug um, in that it doesn't come undone uh, accidentally but it's pretty easy to remove as well and this is kind of nice I don't love the noise that comes from that um, and as it turns out these days, I don't need this fast in access, but this gives opportunities, right? If you were good with a grinder, you could probably put like a bottle opener in the end of it, or I don't know, like do whatever. This is this was formed with like a vice and probably like a hammer knowing me. Um, and it's patinaed really well, uh, which is nice, but um, that, was, that was okay. I still like the idea of the shackle. It turns out, by the way, if you don't have a lot of keys to carry, uh, a lot of keys, the opening on them, uh, will actually fit in here. So instead of having to put a split ring and thread them on here, you can actually put a key here, slide the shackle bar through it and tighten it up. And then your keys dangle off this way with this little guy sort of as a holder. And you can attach a leash to it if you want or do whatever. And that's nice, presuming you don't have too many keys and presuming they all fit on this. 
Um, I, I, I will say, uh, as it turns out, and it shouldn't be a real big surprise to you, you could find smaller split rings if you go looking for them. These are, uh, what are these? Just over half an inch, um, 15 millimeter split rings, stainless steel. Um, I guess they're often marketed towards like people doing jewelry, but that's thicker than you normally want for jewelry. Uh, and it is a, these are lovely in that they're big enough that you can get them over whatever part of this that you want to get them over. Uh, and they're small enough that they don't like take up a whole lot of bulk in your pocket and make a bunch of noise and all the rest. So these have been a lovely addition and they're markedly smaller than the, the commercial ones. Um, uh, some people really like carabiners, kind of like these guys, but like the real deal. Um, these got very popular. I don't like these at all. I don't like the metal ones, and there are plastic ones as well. I don't like either of them. And the, the issue I have is I've lost keys and stuff off them because, the, um, the, the first of all, the spring tension on these is not very high. Second of all, the, the loop up here is not guarded inside it. So it's a little bit hard to see here, but... Um, this loop actually sits proud. So something can wedge in here and push that up pretty easily. This notch as well that's cut in here is not very deep. So it's entirely likely impossible, and I've had it happen, that stuff will rattle itself off these and you'll find keys in like the bottom of your bag and whatnot. They are useful for other applications. Um, it's not that I hate the tool, I just I don't like using them for critical things like keys because I have lost stuff off them. So these get a no-go from me. Um, in the carabiner world, I got sort of uh, four options that I have to choose from. Um, so the first is this. This is a non-load rated, but made by a reputable manufacturer uh, carabiner. So this is made by Black Diamond. Um, it is uh, plastic or polymer with an actual um, wire gate on it. It's got a nice, strong spring. It's got a nice guarded tip on it, so that stuff cannot wedge itself in here and pop this thing open accidentally. Um, and these are lovely. They are small. They don't weigh a lot. They, um, they hold your stuff nicely. Uh, you can compare that to its big brother actual climbing rated one or the solid gate version. These are basically the same thing. Um, this will be lighter. I prefer wire gates myself, but old school can be cheaper. And for a non-critical like load bearing application, uh, like keys. This is way, way, way overkill still. Um, so if you're trying to save a couple bucks, this guy, although these are pretty inexpensive, some people with their keys, and this blows my mind, but to each their own, like locking carabiners. Um, uh, the where, where this part will screw up here, if you've never played with one of these, this will screw up and then the carabiner will not open under load. So these are usually used on like belay or anchoring or sort of like super critical uh, stuff in rock climbing. Um, I don't, I mean, if the point of the carabiner with keys is to be able to get the thing on and off quickly and easily, I don't understand why you would then want to slow that process down by putting a lock on it. Um, but, you know, hey, if, if it, it, clearly it works for some people, so there's that guy. So, that's the key rundown. My standard rig these days, and I'm not going to show it to you because I don't need anybody cloning my keys just out of... Um, an abundance of caution is actually for work keys is actually these guys where I run um, uh, just the couple of work keys that I have off this part of the shackle here. I've got a nylon leash that goes on. It's about yay long. It's just some simple flat nylon webbing uh, with a water knot in the end so I could find it in my pocket or my bag easily. And that's it. Holds them small. It's light. It's comfortable. It looks nice. It's got no sharp edges whatsoever. So it's very, very, very comfy. So that's for work keys. And then for car keys, um, like house keys, I tend to run the smallest split ring I possibly can for a main ring, and then I'll run um, little these little teeny split rings on any of the keys that won't go onto this natively. So a lot of my keys have like fobs for cars now, like the big chunky fobs that people have. I don't want to put that directly on here because it bunches too much, so I'll run a little ring intermediately between them. And that's what I'm doing for keys. Um, I used to carry like multi-tools back in the era when I was doing like this stuff. I used to carry multi-tools. So I had like a, um, this is a county comm, like a mini or micro, or I can't remember which one. It's a pry bar. And so it's got like a little teeny prying thing here and a notch. And these are, can be super, super, super useful. Uh, but given that I'm carrying a knife pretty much all the time now, uh, I know <laughs> prying with knives is bad and we shouldn't do it and whatever. But I'm not willing to carry a second tool for this, and I tend to carry relatively inexpensive knives that I'm not too worried about. So 
Um, I stopped carrying this, but I would point out if you're looking for something, if you have to open cans of paint or whatever it is on a regular basis, these things are inexpensive and they are really nice uh, and sort of like handy to have around. I just don't want to give up the pocket space for it now. So there you go. Keys, man. Like and subscribe, I guess I'm supposed to shout at the end of these or don't.